Oh hey, you're awake. What a nice switch. And you're even sitting up. You're, you're awake and you're upright. People might think they're watching the wrong video. Are you ready for some good news? First up, a new treatment could help to restore aging hearts. According to a new study by the Cedar sinai Heart Institute, infusions of cardiac stem cells could help to reverse the effects of age-related heart problems. In the study, stem cells taken from young rats were injected into the hearts of aged rats. Later tests showed that the rats who received the stem cell infusions had improved heart function, increased exercise capacity, and were able to regrow hair faster than rats of the same age who didn't receive the stem cell treatment. There's still a lot to study here. For example, the researchers didn't determine whether the stem cell restored hearts result in longer lifespans. But based on these early results, this procedure holds a great deal of promise for the future as a treatment for heart disease and other age-related ailments that shorten the lives and lessen the quality of life of countless people around the world. The study is published in the European Heart Journal. Next up, newly developed technology could turn your smartphone into a portable medical lab. Researchers at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign have created a handheld device called the Transmission Reflectance Intensity, or TRI, analyzer. It plugs into a smartphone and is capable of performing blood, urine, and saliva analyses that are typically done with expensive, specialized lab equipment. In a recent study, the TRI analyzer was used to check for biomarkers associated with preterm birth and to perform a PKU test, a standard test given to newborns. In both cases, the results from the TRI analyzer were found to be comparable to those gotten from standard equipment. The team at the University of Illinois' Micro and Nanotechnology Lab that developed the tri analyzer believes the device can be adapted to perform thousands of tests far faster and more inexpensively than would be possible with standard equipment. The paper describing the tri analyzer is published in the journal Lab on a Chip. I don't know about any lab on a chip, but if I wanted to, I could publish a journal titled Cat on a Couch. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, finally, just published research indicates that school-based mental health programs are effective at improving mental health outcomes for students. The research, conducted by doctors at Massachusetts General Hospital, examined the most widely implemented school mental health programs and found what they characterized as, quote, moderate to strong evidence that these programs promote good mental health and related outcomes. The programs included in the study have reached an estimated 27 million people over the last decade, which leads the authors of the study to speculate that such effective school mental health programs hold the potential for improving the mental health of an entire generation of people. With 13% of children and adolescents worldwide dealing with problems related to mental health, that would be very, very good news. This research is published in the Harvard Review of Psychiatry. So, an infusion of cardiac stem cells rejuvenates aging hearts, a handheld device can turn a smartphone into a portable medical lab, and new research suggests that school programs can really help to improve the mental health of students. That's the good news. Hey folks, one last thing before I go. I hope you found this video worthwhile. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.